So uh, I wrote this back in 2000 and uh, whew, I'm trying to remember that probably 10 or 10 or so, and uh, it's because I had moved to Texas from uh, from Mississippi and got over there, and that's where I started playing music again because I found this whole Texas music scene and. and I found Robert Earl Keane really was what was what happened. I got over there and heard Robert Earl Keane records and thought, oh, I didn't know I didn't know that was an option. I didn't know you could do it that way. And it kind of opened up the whole world to me. And uh, so I got really immersed in that scene for a long time with on, on music and on that side of things. And uh, and then one day I was driving down the road because I grew up listening to country radio and I. I Used to love listening to the Top 40 Country Countdown. And uh, I was driving down to a gig in Lückenbach. And I get uh, about halfway there and I thought, I'm going to turn the radio on and see what's happening. I, it, it's Sunday afternoon, it's the countdown, let me see what's happening. And, and I turn it on just in time to catch the last few songs. And the number one song that day that I was listening to it was Honky Tonk Badonka Donk. And I thought, man, things have changed. This is not the country music I remembered. And uh, so I just started listening more, and it was there was more of that. It was just really strange. Um, and then the nail in the coffin was a few weeks after that. I was playing a, a show. A friend of mine um, got signed to a big major label deal, and this was down around Austin. And he had a show, and. Uh, they sent this label guy, they had signed the deal earlier that day, and then and then they played this show and I got to open for him and afterwards we were sitting around passing guitars around, which is what we do, and uh, just sitting around hang, hanging out after the show and this, this uh, executive guy, I think he was probably, you know, 25 years old or something, he's, he's the, the resident expert on country music that night and uh, he... Uh, he asked my friend, he said, hey, why don't you uh, play something, play something you've been working on, you know, for the next record. And so, so he starts strumming. It's like this. And uh, this guy cuts him off before he let him say one word of the song. He cut him off and he said, no, 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 like a hit song. We need a hit song. You can't have a hit song in country in three, four times. But that is country music, three, four times. I wish a buck was still silver. It was back when the country was strong. All those songs were three, four times. And I couldn't believe it. Well, this is where we're at. So I went home and I wrote this song. And I wrote a verse just for that guy. Well, he sang about Jesus. He sang about Jones. And he sang of American pride. But they're all too damn clean. Polish like stones And he won't sing about cheating Or lying Well I remember the days When the singers just sang And left it all in the stories they tell These days we're in AM Country heaven And FM Country hell I miss the days when the women were ugly and the men were all 40 years old. Cause you had to say something for people to listen, but now they just do what they're told. Well, it's all about idols, pretty blonde hair, and how many trucks you can out here in the country heaven, the FM country hell. Well, out on these 
back roads, only real truth that I know. Don't cross the radio band. Cut through the static like a chill in the air. Leaves out, then it comes back again. Well, I don't mean to sound jaded. Cause I know there are plenty of young singers who aren't up for sale. But they're all stuck in a damn country heaven and in country hell. I will say before I bash this executive guy in this next verse. Um, I still stand by this song 100% as far as the radio goes. But uh, I think in these last five years, there's been more good country music made than I've, than I've heard in a long, long, long time. And uh, there's a lot of people making a lot of really great country music, including Addison Johnson. Who played here tonight. And uh, it's being done. It's being done probably better than it's been done in a long time. So the future of country music's in good hands. It's just not on the radio. You know, you got to dig around. Y'all know. You got to dig around and find it. But it's out there. But no thanks to this guy in this verse. Well, I knew it was over. Did I overheard a record? executive cry keep it all simple don't get offensive don't play songs in three quarter time Mr. Record Man I hope you don't take offense but you're a hell of a joke I can tell you're the reason we're in a Heaven 